quadruped knee hovers or hands and knees knee hovers. Okay, this is also known as the quadruped beast. There's always a bunch of different names for exercises. So I'm gonna demonstrate that here. This is a great exercise when um, building core strength in preparation for a full plank. I love the hands and knees position. I find people are better able to um, find their abs a little bit more and just keep um, better form with their spine because you're, um, you know, better keep a neutral spine and not sink into the movement. Like a front, a front plank is a very challenging exercise, and this is too, um, but this is a great way to build up that um, core strength uh, for a front plank. So inhale through your nose, exhale, engage your deep abs as you gently just lift and hover your knees slightly from the floor, okay? Inhale, exhale, lift, I'm going to hold, inhale, okay, so that time I held for an inhale and an exhale. So that's how you can make it harder, progress for and hold for a longer time. So once you elevate your knees, if that feels easy, just coming up and down, okay, then you can work on holding once you're up. Inhale, exhale, and then hold. Okay. You can also add movements. So once you're up, you can lift a leg behind you like that. But again, you want to make sure you're able to not tip and rotate. Everything should stay stable. You could lift a, a hand or an arm. There's all kinds of stuff you can do to add movement to make it harder. Maintain, make sure you're maintaining that good deep breathing, really engaging your deep abdominals. Draw your hip bones together as you exhale. Make sure you're thinking of knitting your rib cage together so that everything here flattens, comes up and in. When you're on all fours, you can think of everything coming up and in, okay? You don't want your back arched or tucked rounded. You want a neutral position. Um, and then as you hover those knees, make sure you're exhaling fully. Get all that air out. Really exhale from the bottom up. Think of lower abs first before you try to bring your rib cage um, down or together. Okay, so great exercise. Um, very functional. Um, think of the developmental progression of babies. You know, once they are on their hands and knees, eventually they're going to learn to lift their legs and arms and then crawl. So I love the bear crawl position, that hands and knees position, lifting those legs and really building core strength.